So before we get into Knox versus Carlisle itself, I have an announcement to make. I will be doing a giveaway on the channel of a Pride of Nottingham print. It includes one print of um, a court Knox player, a Knox legend, or of Meadow Lane itself. Um, to begin with a chance of winning one, uh, all you have to do is follow me and Pride of Nottingham on Twitter. Both Twitters will be in the description below. As will the tweet, you have got to like and retweet that tweet to be in the chat to be in with a chance of winning one that the link to that tweet will also be in the description below get make sure you enter that competition it's a great gift to have this christmas yeah so like i said follow me and part of nottingham on twitter both twitters in the description and uh, the link to that tweet right you've got to like and retweet to be in with a chance of winning that will also be in the description below <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. This evening Knox are at home to Carlisle in what is Steve Chettle's final game in caretaker charge before Neil Arley takes over from tomorrow onwards. Yeah, Knox really need to win this game this evening. We are seven games without a win in the league and we come from against a Carlisle side who have got some former Knox players in their squad. Adam Campbell, Adam Collin and they have former Knox boss John Sheridan in charge. And they're quite decent away from home. I think they've won six of their... 10 away games so far this season, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah and Knox really do need to move out the relegation zone and just because we can't you know be cut adrift at the bottom because Cheltenham are above us, have got a game in hand and it's just really important that we win, we've not won since the start of October and we need, we need you know some good, a, a good result before the new manager comes in. Come on Knox, come on you pies, let's do this. Right, here we go for another fun-filled Tuesday evening at the lane. Uh, team news, it's the same team that ended the game on Saturday. Um, Fitzsimmons obviously in goal. Davis at right-back, Turley and Ward centre-backs, Jones at left-back. Uh, Patching, Hewson, Milsom, Hewitt, Thomas and Dennis. Yeah. Andy Kellett, David Vaughan on the bench. Not so actually thrown away more points than any other team from winning positions this season which is quite remarkable which and if we won them seven games would be in the playoffs um, Saturday was it? It was improved yeah. Yeah. clear-cut chances, it's just a shambles, it really is, Turney's going off being good, it looks like Grizzly will come on, it really is poor, it really is shambles. It's kind of like the Oldham game, they're having all the possession, all the good play, and we're just holding on, and it's exactly like Oldham, deja vu. Unfortunately, there's some individuals who are just doing nothing. Boussan, why is he on the pitch? He's not closing down, he's on his toes, he's wandering around like a lost little boy. We need to change things around a bit, because I just feel that as soon as I saw the team, I thought, we're just going to hang on here. We need to do something. We can't blame the ref, we can't blame anything, but we've got options on the bench. I bring two to on, get Boussan off, Put Tuka wide, bring Patching into the middle, playing a number 10 role. Dennis is isolated. Yes. Thomas needs to pull his finger out. Wilson needs to get on his toes. 
And I don't like to think blaming his son, but what has he done? How many times has he touched the ball? Better than one. Exactly. Improvement needed. So in there in the midfield. I had it. Oh, fucking. Oh, no, so weak. Oh, no, so weak. Oh, no, so weak. Oh, no, so weak. Run! It's when he's in the middle, he's just a bit of a clown. Yeah. He did that versus Macclesfield, though, first star. It shows he can do it. So why don't you do it all the time? Yeah! It's almost the 70th minute, it's not one Carlisle nil. It was an absolute scramble from the corner. Three shots at goal and also three handballs, two from the Carlisle player and one from Noel Hoosin, I think. It looked like handball. Carlisle are going to equalise, no they're not. We're sitting back again, straight from 1 0. It was Elliot Hewitt in the goal. He's finally done something good after all, after all the stick I gave him. Hold on, Denny. Yeah. It's about 20 ish minutes to go, plus other time, and that's like they're going to sit back like me. Get out! Dan Jones is like Bambi on ice at the back. I will, I really will. Just under 10 minutes to go, which you know what that means, it's time for Knox to concede because we love <laughs> conceding with 10 minutes to go. Carlisle attacking, they've just put on Richie Bennett and Kelvin and two hoof to try and change the game and the cross is... That's our ball! Come on then, let's keep going! Good chance of a win here to get a win before the new manager comes. That's a good, that's a decent following for a Tuesday night. I'll give him one. That's a good following from a Tuesday night. But I thought they've got to come. Fair do the score on them. Get Chetan out. I'll do the summary. Well, I think we're unlucky to get a point in the end, but really we should have got three. And it's blindingly obvious to anybody apart from Chettle that all their attacks are coming down their left and that we were being stuffed at right back. We have a right back on the bench who he didn't bring on and he kept a centre half at right back. He was doing the best he could. He needed to get on, bring two to one for him, and then he would have helped Patchen yeah. as well. We could have had three points, should have done. Milson, shocking. Some of his uh, set pieces were absolutely dreadful. As far as I'm concerned, I think we need Hart, we need Chettle and Tate Vaughan, get out the club, get back to Forest, and we need a new broom, somebody who knows what they're doing. Because everybody knew we were gonna, they were gonna score coming down their left, and they score coming down the left. Chettle, you're an idiot. You really must be an idiot not to see that. And there are some players tonight, Jones, it's never a left back, it's never a defender, barely a footballer. <laughs> some of them need to put some more bloody effort in as well, like you, Thomas. Rant over. The ref wasn't that bad. <laughs> so we are back from the game, not swan. Collar won the final score. And yeah, it wasn't a great performance, it wasn't you know, a really bad performance. It was just okay. It was all right. First half, we weren't great. We sat back and allowed Carlisle to um, to dictate the play. Second half, Elliot Hewitt was... I, I give Elliot Hewitt a lot of stick, but in the second half, um, he went further forward and started running with the ball, and that's what he needs to do more often. Christian Dennis was good as well, did what he could... Uh, you know, he's not he's not suited to one up front, but he did, did what he could tonight. He played well. Will Patchen as well, I thought he played well. But again, again, we're conceding late on. How many times? Like the sixth time this season we've conceded from the 80th minute onwards. 
I think it's the eighth time that we've thrown away points from winning positions, and if we had them points, we'd be in the playoffs. It's so annoying, and it's something that Ardley has got to change when he is when he takes charge of the team. But Chetzel, like Saturday, didn't make the changes early. He didn't make he didn't bring on any subs when it was clear. Every time Carlisle got the ball, they got it down, got it onto the left wing because uh, Keston Davis, you know, he's he's a centre back. He's not a right back, but he played at right back tonight, you know, and they were all the time putting it down the left wing, and all the time they were cutting in and time they did it time after time after time, and you could see where it was going. It it was the goal was coming, and we didn't make any changes. Tootle didn't come on at right back for Davis like they should have. And then they go and score, and then that's another two points lost. There was just no need to go so defensive when we went 1-0 up. We sat deeper than a submarine once we scored. And it's another reason it's another reason why we dropped two points again. The mentality, game management, you know, we need this needs to be brought into the team. When our when Ardley takes charge, we need leaders. And again, the midfield tonight was a bit it was still a bit poor. Yeah, we need leaders. We need a midfield that's going to work. It was it was all right tonight, but it's still a big it's a big weakness of the team. Yeah. Anyways, Neil Arley takes charge from now on. Let's hope he gets us up the league. And remember to enter the competition. Um, follow me and Pride of Nottingham on Twitter, both Twitters in the description and also leave a link to the tweet, you've got to like and retweet that tweet to be in with a chance of winning uh, a Pride of Nottingham print. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game, stay subscribed if you're already subscribed, subscribe if you're new, be safe, be champions and as always, to